Hey, what's up guys? Up North Rider here. And uh, today, I had a little run-in with an axe. That's right. I had that happen. See that there? Well, can you see it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I can move my fingers and I've been doing this sort of thing, but I wouldn't want to be gripping like a like the handlebars of a motorbike and stuff like that, you know. Sure I can, but I'm not going to, you know. I'll give it some rest, you know. Just, just let, it, let it heal. So hopefully, it should be all good. But what did that do? Stop me from going for a ride. Today I'm going to talk about uh, my motor vlog setup. What what sort of cameras I use, how many cameras I use, what do I use, when do I use them, and all that sort of thing. So this is probably more geared around, geared towards those you up and coming motor vloggers, or even just anyone who wants to get into any amateur filming or anything like this. Like I use these cameras for my other channel too. Um, I'll put a link to that channel down in the description down below. Um, yeah, so I get out and about and I use different things. So I'm going to run you through it. So stick with me, you'll be able to see what I set, my setup is. And maybe you can tailor it, help you out setting your setup as well. You know, all us motor vloggers will usually have uh, some form of chin mounted um, action camera. I use a GoPro Hero 7 8 and you can see it just here. There's another clip of it right there. That's my camera. I mean, you can search and see what other cameras are out there. Um, but that's what I use. I use the GoPro Hero 7 Black. I use several other cameras and the other cameras that I use and I, uh, I also use I've got them sitting on the shelf right here I've got my shelf just over here so my other cameras that I use are these these little fellas here you know these are the um, these little squares you know they're, they're, they're awesome little cameras um, it's the GoPro Hero um, oh they're actually the GoPro Session 5 um, yeah, the GoPro Session 5 are the good camera, and I actually have two of them. That's right, two. So, you can see, I have two cameras. Now, why have two cameras? And I'll show you this clip. Just there, you'll see that clip there, and you'll see. See, you see those two shots? The two cameras, these two cameras, they were running together on the bike at different spots and I've done this a couple of times in a couple of videos I haven't done it all the time but you know it is there what it is as I'm a little bit lazy I like to just press record and while I go you know and it makes it heaps easier to sync it up when you see the same thing in the picture anyway so that's what I have I might have one facing forwards one facing back you know however we go or I have the old little GoPro camera here and I have it facing like everyone else and it, it, it looks like looks at you while you're on the bike yeah so so while that's all going on you know so you've got these cameras you've got your GoPro on your chin on your helmet you've got your the GoPro mounted on the bike so I'm in these two little GoPros but then what about when you stop you know what about when you're like in a motorbike rally like when I was at the Brass Monkey I I was walking around with the camera that I'm filming on. This, this camera right here that I'm filming on. Yeah, it's a Canon M50 mirrorless camera. Man, great camera, great camera. Awesome setup. That's great photos, great video. You know, but look at it. You know, look at it now. It's taking great video. Um, and I also have a Rode mic that's sitting on the top. And I'll show you it right now. Here it is here. Here it is here, guys. This is my Canon M50. It is sporting the... 22 millimeter lens yeah that lens is good lens and you can see me filming with my camera uh, with my phone um, so yeah so there's plenty of reviews on these sort of cameras on the internet you can check them out um, as much as you want yeah on, you can check them out there's, there's a road uh, mic up there yeah there you go that camera this camera that I'm filming with the Canon M50 is a great camera man here's some of the footage here I'll show you I've taken of the brass monkey. See, check out this. Here we go, right there. See that? Some really cool footage. Eh? It's pretty crystal clear. So far, I've talked about my the main GoPro that I use on my chin here, my helmet. Uh, my two little GoPros that I'll mount on the bike wherever. On the handlebars, I'll mount them on the sides, you know, down on the engine bars, or wherever the crash bars, you know, whatever. Wherever you mount them. Um, I even did a video where I tried mounting one to the sissy bar. Well, that was a bit of a fail, but anyway and then of course you've got the Canon the big Canon um, DSLR well the mirrorless camera you know that's that's what we got there but I also employ the use of a drone the drone that I have 
Let's get over here on my bench again. Gotta get on the bench. Is this fella here. This is the DJI Mavic Mini drone. It's tiny. Look at that. Anyways, a couple of 300 grams or whatever, 200 and something grams. Tiny little thing, eh? Look at that. Tiny. But man, you can see in that puppy way up in the sky. And um, as you've seen on some of these other videos that I've made, right here, <laughs> right here, there are other videos that I've made, right there. One, ready, maybe, maybe show another one, two, you know. And then, um, but one thing you've got to be careful of when you're using a drone, especially up north here in New Zealand, is uh, if I'm flying on the coast with a little drone, I fly using an onshore wind. Because these little drones are susceptible to wind and it might end up going out to sea. And that's what I that's that's what I that's what I use. This is my camera footage, that's my camera setup, that's what I use when I'm uh, when I'm gonna put it all together and, and that's what we go for. Um, you know, you can create talking head vlogs like what I'm doing right now. You obviously use your, your, your camera footage on your bike, so you're doing motor vlogs. Um, use the drone to to just fly up into wherever and to alongside. But I've also used the drone to do nice little um, detailed stuff of the bike. Um, the other accessories that I use are tripods. These little tripods here. See this tripod here? It is. It's a Joby or Joby, Joby, Joby um, Gorilla Pod. This one here, specifically for GoPros. That one there. So they're tiny, eh? Nice little thing, lightweight. Okay, here we have it. See, this is another Joby. This is another um, Gorilla Pod type of thing. Um, yeah, this is the Gorilla Pod 1000 or something. So that one there. I just held up was the one that I use for the camera for this uh, my DSLR. Right, I go. So that's my setup. I've got a GoPro Hero 7 Black. I've got two um, GoPro Session 5s. I've got a mirrorless camera, which is a Canon M50. I use a 22 millimeter lens, as well as the kit lens, which is a 15 to 45 millimeter lens. I use my drone that you've seen footage of, and of course, I've been mucking around with the phone and. My phone that I use is, I use an iPhone 8. So that's what I use. That's my setup. Of course guys, there's always other things that you have as well. Power pack, I use a 20,000 amp hour. It's got two, uh, two jacks. Everyone has one of these things, don't they? Um, you know, that can charge up so much. For the GoPro Hero 7 Black, I've got like, multiple spare batteries, heaps of these batteries, aftermarket ones, GoPro ones, yeah, whatever. I got heaps of them. Take them with me. Can't go wrong. Never run out. Uh, the sessions though, they don't have interchangeable batteries, you've got to charge them. So hey, that's why you need the power pack. And we all know, uh, to use a mic, you need the mic adapter for the GoPros. We all know that. But anyway, you just have to buy it, grin and bear it, take it, buy it, use it. It's just part of the kit. So, so that's my setup. So that's that's what I use. And this is probably more of a help for those of you that are um, new into motor vlogging, eh? You know, those, those of you that have been in the business for a while, you'll have your own sort of setup. Yeah. So I hope this was informative for those of you that are trying to get into this uh, this game, and and um, those of you that want to just film, just want to record some of your own action and hey it may never ever appear on YouTube it might be something you do for yourself at home that's how I started out I only wanted to do stuff for myself um, and now here I am here we go um, just a few so yeah so that's me so hey thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you on the next one outro crew any of you guys uh, into instruments you play anything yeah well you know so over my shoulder here right there that's my double bass He's a new, uh, he's a new addition to the family, the newest addition to the family. Down over here, this one right over there, that one there. That's my hummingbird. That's he's, uh, yeah. That's a cool hummingbird. Anyway, let me know what you instrument you guys play.